Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this panel discussion. I'm Gautam Ram, a postdoctoral researcher from the Delft University of Technology. Today we will discuss the fundamentals of why electric vehicles are on the rise. Through this discussion, we hope to demonstrate the profound changes that electric vehicle adoption will have on our society and energy system. First, I will introduce the panelists. Alongside me is Professor Paul Bauer from the Delft University of Technology, who is leading the technology part of this course. After him is Applied Research Professor Frank Rieck from Rotterdam University of Applied Sciences, who is leading the business part of this MOOC. And after that, we have Professor Margot Weinen from Delft University of Technology, who is leading the policy part of this MOOC. Through the expertise from technology, policy, and business, what we aim to achieve is that we try to show why the three uh, perspectives of technology, policy, and business are required for the future growth of electric vehicles. So let's jump into this discussion. So my first question, what I have for the panelists, is what everybody has when they first hear of the word electric vehicles. Why should I, as a common man, buy an electric vehicle today? Thank you. Nice question, Gautam. Well, from the technological perspective, it is clear that electric vehicle is uh, environmentally friendly. It has a significantly higher efficiency than combustion engine vehicle. It can be even four to five times higher, which is a very big number. The well-to-wheel efficiency, which is meaning from the source of, the of the energy to the wheels, this is the efficiency of five to time fi four to five times higher. And uh, that is because the uh, combustion engine vehicles produce mostly heat. Aside from that, we have less need for the regular maintenance. Well, there is some small maintenance, but much less than the combustion engine, because there are significantly less moving parts. And there are also other advantages, like there is no noise produced from the engine. It can easily accelerate. You can uh, accelerate as a supercar. And it doesn't rely on fossil fuels. Therefore, uh, it can contribute to energy transition. And we will elaborate on that in the technology part of the MOOC, too. Thank you for your inputs from the technology side. Uh, Frank Rieck, can you please tell us why, from a business perspective, I should buy an electric vehicle today? Uh, yes, I can. And the answer is quite simple. Uh, at the end, it's more cost effective. It's cheaper. Um, already now, uh, you see that uh, for buses and some trucks uh, where they make uh, total cost of ownership uh, calculations, they find that the vehicles today, the electric vehicles today, uh, can compete with the traditional diesel trucks and, and buses. Uh, but also for the private user, businessman, um, it, it will be cheaper in the end. Um, it's not the sticker price, of course, which at this moment is higher uh, than the traditional vehicle, uh, but you see that you can earn this difference back very uh, in a very short uh, period of time. Thank you for your input, uh, Frank. Professor Marco, can you tell us from a policy perspective, why should I buy an electric car today? Well, I think from a public, public policy perspective, government has many reasons to convince people to buy electric cars. Especially in cities and along major transport corridors, we see that public health Suffer, suffers a lot from traffic and use pollution. Um, so for the sake of cleaner air, electric cars are a great choice. Moreover, electric vehicles nicely fit in with energy transition goals and with climate policy goals, as my colleagues already pointed out. As we have seen in many countries, rebates on the, on the purchasing price and fiscal incentives have been quite effective you know, so far in stimulating the sales of electric cars. The downside of this, however, is that as soon as you remove those uh, financial incentives, you know, sales stagnate immediately. So how long do we have to keep up with these you know, stimulation schemes? Uh, what we have also learned, I think, from the uh, schemes applied so far is that we have to make a clear distinction between just private drivers and the ones, you know, who drive for business and buy their car, you know, as, 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 a, as a business asset. Uh, they have very different behavior and, and the latter group, the, the where the car is a business asset, uh, is far more rational in its decision making yeah. on the buying of an electric car than the general, you know, private car owner is. Yeah. Yeah. 
So if I uh, summarize some of the discussions here, I will say that the electric vehicle is far superior from a technology perspective, mainly driven from the efficiency and for the emissions. The total cost of ownership of the electric car is already lower today and also from a, a, a public policy perspective in terms of uh, climate change goals and also from expression of personal freedom, electric vehicles are playing a unique role.